love bag going to buy the material. In this small Monroe church, these three women spend their Mondays tying, cutting, and cutting up. They come from different backgrounds, but they have one thing in common, University Health Conway. Barbara Gaines worked at Conway for 32 years before retiring. Daisy Lawson was treated at the hospital for breast cancer. And the leader of this small army, Pam Garner, needed medical help at a time when she couldn't get health insurance. And I had what turned out to be some serious problems and they took care of me out at Conway, for which I will be eternally grateful. And I ended up with open heart surgery. So when I got over all of that, I, I wanted to give back because they had been so good to me. Pam volunteered at the hospital and was placed in the oncology department. While going through some supplies that were left behind, she came across a handmade blanket and an idea was born. She and her team of volunteers would make blankets for cancer patients going through treatment at the hospital. Barbara Gaines witnessed the impact this act of kindness was having on people who were fighting to beat cancer. The patients would be so grateful. The first thing most of them said when they came in is, well, how much do they cost? And she would always say, well, they are free. And I just thought that was a great thing to do. And I wanted to be a part of it. Daisy Lawson became involved in the project after she received her very own blanket while undergoing chemotherapy at Conway. It meant a lot to me because it was warm, the blanket was warm, the warm was in the sheets. Do you still have your blanket? I still have my blanket. Still use it? I still use it. These three meet every Monday inside St. Albans Episcopal Church. That's how they got the name, the Kneeling Needlers. It takes four yards of material and an hour and a half just to make one blanket. These three ladies try to make at least four blankets a week. The blankets are then blessed before they arrive at University Health Conway, where they're handed out to patients who are looking for a little comfort during a very trying time. It helps warm them up because of their condition and the medications that they take. Sometimes they can feel cold and they have those blankets here that they can really work with. It's been four years since the kneeling needlers at St. Albans began making these blankets. And during that time, they think they've made upwards of 500, if not more. They've also seen volunteers come and go. But these three women, Barbara, Daisy, and Pam, say they'll keep making these blankets until a cure for cancer is found. And even then, they'll find another group of patients at Conway who need a little comfort and warmth. I think we're commanded to take care of one another. And that's just a small way, you know, of doing that. For the University Health News Network, I'm Ed Walsh.